Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In this episode, we're going to do damage assessment. How did our Razor 900 trail fare after 750 miles? So here first, we uh, lost the panel here. I guess we slammed it into something. And uh, looks like we're going to have to just repair that or glue it up. And uh, that's not too bad, but we'll have to fix that. Uh, next we come down to the rock sliders and uh, these are these have expected wear this is exactly what rock sliders are supposed to do protect your plastics make sure that you uh, don't slam up against rocks or trees and as you can see that's a lot of rocks and trees so she's doing okay uh, up here the fold down windshield um, I folded it up into my ram mount while it was in the uh, wrong position so I uh, just had to crack it. As you can see, that ram mount, if it sticks out, it's enough to break the plastic. So I just glued that back. Not, not a big deal. It was pretty easy repaired. Uh, you can't really see this, but uh, minor damage on the lower A-arm. I had bent it, uh, but have since put the ricochet protection armor on there. So, uh, and you'll also see our straps are on there still for uh, mounting to the trailer. Front plastics looking good. Thankfully, our bumper is keeping us safe there. Uh, even though she's a little bit dirty, we come over here and poof, and there goes a mirror. <laughs> Looks like trees uh, just really love our uh, side by side, and that one just shattered and broke off and broke off. We'll just uh, order another replacement. That's not a big deal, not a high cost item. Talking about trees, if you look at this door, uh, we uh, had one of these doors pop open and caught a tree. Uh, it got all bent out of shape. It's still a little bit uh, out of whack, but we uh, will just probably just repair that a little bit. And I have to order some new bolts because uh, from adjusting these things, they get a little stripped too easy. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me what kind of bolts to order. Uh, and uh, once I get that taken care of, she'll be good as new, but she's a little tight on the lock. So not a big deal. Uh, we've learned to make sure that the doors are held shut with a bungee cord if uh, you're traveling or whatnot. You don't want them popping open. So uh, interior, you know, uh, okay. Uh, here is uh, another damage to uh, from a tree. And uh, this was just to just grab the corner and cracked it a little bit. We'll be able to just uh, bend that back in there and repair it a little bit. Not a big deal. It's cosmetic and uh, it's expected. So we come down over here, we talked about the three flats we got on our original tires. We've since upgraded to uh, Tusk Terabytes, and you can check our other video out about the review on those. They're great. And, uh, you know, our interior doing okay. You know, other than a little bit of mud and uh, it being dirty, our interior is faring very well. So I'd have to say that uh, no damage in there. We uh, have our McNasties protecting our underbody for anything coming up to the floor, so we're doing good and uh, watch for more videos on that. Uh, here, this is where we would tie our tie, our, the bungee cord just to keep that door shut if we're in transit up on the trailer. Uh, and then here's our, other, uh, here's our other rock slider. And as you can see, this is just regular use, the same as the other side, it gets all scratched up. Our trailer's a little tight, so uh, I'm sure that doesn't help. Um, but uh, overall, we're, uh, we're doing pretty good at the 750 mark. So I'd have to say, why don't you tell us uh, how yours has fared? Any repairs or damage? Tell us more in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there on the trails.